Hey everybody, it's Ryan Gavalier over at Vinyl Destination. Hope you guys are having a great night. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about an album that I've been listening to for about a year now, and in the past couple weeks it's been a bunch I've been listening to it. Uh, the album is Vandergraaf Generator's Pawn Hearts from 1971. Uh, this album is classified as prog rock, but it's, you know, not like anything that I've heard before. It mixes a lot of albums like saxophones, heavy keyboard riffs, heavy guitar riffs, along with like spacey and atmospheric tones and a one-of-a-kind voice from lead singer Peter Hamill. Um, I have been listening to this album multiple times a day recently. I'd say in the past week I've probably heard it about seven or eight times just because I'm hooked with it. It's, you know, it has three full songs on it, one brief interlude, and every single one of them is a 10 out of 10 for me. I mean, it's honestly one of the best albums I've ever heard. So let's go in the little depth about it and, you know, see what's, you know, going on with this one. Uh, the first track on this is called Lemmings. And I absolutely love that song. It's super heavy and spacey. Uh, Peter Hamill's voice is just on fire on this one. Um, I can hear the people that he influenced in his voice for sure. Uh, some of the names that come to mind would be Bruce Dickinson. He sounds a lot like Jeff Tate from Queensryche and... I don't know. I, I guess like his actual voice, I could see maybe he might have had some influence from, you know, someone like David Bowie. I can hear kind of like an angrier version of him and his voice. Um, I also feel like he, this guy might have influenced uh, Peter Murphy from Bauhaus because they kind of have a similar shrieking tone. Uh, Peter Hamill likes to scream a lot in the songs. He does in this one quite a bit, along with some of the other ones we'll talk about in a moment. And it's just so unique. Um, I love the saxophones in this song. They add a huge layer of depth to the guitar riffs and the piano and the keyboards. Um, that, you know, without it, I don't think it's only nearly as good as it is. And... Um, just amazing performances overall. The song is about 11 minutes long. It's very, very epic. Um, I've just been listening to it over and over recently. Um, and it's an amazing opener to the album. This, the brief interlude is called Theme 1. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's nothing compared to the full-length songs of this album, but it works to go between the songs. Um, the second full song on the album is called Man Erg, and it might be my favorite on the album. It starts off super soft with, you know, very dramatic piano and theatrical vocals by Peter Hamill. Uh, as the song goes on and on, it starts to get more and more dramatic, and then I'd say about five minutes in, it just takes off. It gets real heavy with this gritty industrial sounding keyboard riff that's like 20 years ahead of its time and there's some guitar in there too but it's just so heavy and dark and the percussion starts getting really weird and robotic too and peter's vocals get crazy oh, it's just absolutely insane one of the most avant-garde songs i've ever heard it's honestly overwhelming how crazy it gets so I think that might be my favorite track on this uh, album. Just the way it goes back and forth from soft to heavy to soft to heavy. You think it's going to stick to one thing after a while. Like once it got heavy, I thought it was going to stay crazy. But then it got soft again. I was like, oh, this song sounds like it's starting to calm down for good now. And then it gets even crazier than it was before. It's just wild. I love it. Um... And the last track on here is called the um, Plague of Lighthouse Keeper. And it's a sidelong track, and it is truly epic. It starts with this lush and moody piano riff and, you know, some 
Tamer vocals by Peter again. But as the song goes on, it gets crazy, just like Manor, and it gets really, really crazy. You've got like uh, pretty like sporadic saxophones along with the heavy riffs, crazy drumming, great bass playing, and just a ton of screaming by Peter Hamill. His vocals get absolutely nuts in this song. I love it. Um, you know, it is definitely one of the best sidelong tracks I've heard. I mean, along with Close to the Edge, Tarkus, uh, etc. I really, really like it a lot. And it's a great closer to this album. Like I said, all these tracks are just perfect. It's hard for me to pick a favorite. At the moment, I think it's Manor, just because I really like the riffs in that one and the way it changes tones. But some moments I feel like I might like Lemmings a bit more. And then other moments, Plague's, Plague a lot, Lighthouse Keeper kind of edges up there to the favorite. So who knows? I mean, I've been listening to this album a ton recently, and my opinion just grows fonder and fonder and fonder every time. It's a true masterpiece of an album. I heard about it a lot in the Prague community, and I had heard it a couple times a while ago, like a year ago, like I said. I thought it was good, but just recently it's really been clicking for me how amazing it is. I also do like the album art quite a bit. It's pretty cheesy 70s, but it's, you know, when you actually listen to the album, the image here really fits well. It's kind of like when you look at a Yes album cover, you start listening to the music and looking at the gatefold or looking at the cover and you kind of get immersed into the world that it is. I kind of do that with this one. Um, and this album was also on the Charisma label, which is always a plus for me because I love the way that their label looks. It's very British, very 70s, and I don't know, it's just super cool. Um, so I am very, very impressed by this album. Um, I have been listening to some other stuff by Vanderwerf Generator too, and I'm really liking what I've heard so far, and I'm going to keep listening to them. I'll be doing some more reviews in the future, maybe as I get to know, you know, their entire catalog, I'll do a ranking at some point, but you'll definitely be hearing a lot more about them because I'm absolutely hooked. Um, this album is an easy 10 out of 10 for me. I don't give that often just because I feel like there's something I could pick out about most albums, but in this one, there really isn't anything. It's just perfect. It's one of the most addicting albums I've heard in a while. It's one of the most impressive albums I've heard um, ever. It's, snuck its way into my top five prog albums already it's getting closer and closer and closer to the top two i think there's a couple albums that would have a lot of trouble beating for me just as sentimental value but it's definitely getting there near the top um so i definitely recommend pawn hearts by van de Graaff generator easy 10 out of 10 rating Please let me know what you think about this album in the comments. If you listen to it for the first time after watching this video, please also let me know what your reaction is, as I would love to hear your opinion. Um, definitely let me know about any other bands or albums that you would like to hear me talk about in the future, and make sure to subscribe to my channel too for content updates. Um, if you're a fan of prog rock, hard rock, classic rock, jazz, psych rock, uh, proto metal, heavy metal, just, you know, definitely subscribe. I'm going to be covering all those genres. I'm a fan of them all, and there's going to be a ton of here for you guys to check out. So thank you for your support so far to everybody who has subscribed, and thank you for watching this video along with my others. Uh, I'm Ryan Gavalier. This is Vinyl Destination. I hope you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you soon.